everybody, it is me, Alexa, and today we're going to be reacting to the trailer for The Batman. Um, I've been very excited about this movie. Um, today was, as many people know, DC fandom, and they have a whole bunch of trailers came out from it, and I'm going to be doing reactions um, across the next couple days, posting twice a day, um, to the ones that I was most excited for coming from the fandom event. I am quite the nerd. I am newer to the DC nerd-dumb. Um, <laughs> I watched Superman when I was really little, but I didn't watch the newer ones until about like a year and a half ago. I watched all the new DC movies. Um, and then I only watched the Dark Knight trilogy for the first time like two years ago. Now they're some of my favorite things ever, but um, I just hadn't watched them for a while for no reason. Um, and so now I'm obsessed with them and i am been so excited for this Batman, uh, directed by Matt Reeves, who of course did the Planet of the Apes films, which I also just watched. Um, I watched the first one back when it came out, but I hadn't seen the second two until um, just a couple months ago, actually. And I loved those. I thought they were extremely well done. So I'm really excited to see what he brings to the Batman. And then, of course, we have Robert Pattinson as the Batman. Whenever I first heard that Robert Pattinson was going to be in it, I was a little iffy about it because I was like okay um, but as I started to think about the stuff he's been doing recently I haven't seen many of his recent films but I keep seeing ads and it seems like he's playing a really great diverse set of roles and the second that honestly I saw the first like a uh, suit picture with him in it I was like okay I can see it I can see it now and then they just kept talking about all the different cast members coming on you have Zoe Kravitz playing Catwoman I love that um I think she's gonna do spectacular as that role Paul Dano as the Riddler um you have Colin Farrell as Penguin there's Jeff be right as um Commissioner Gordon, wow. <laughs> and then you also have Andy Serkis as Alfred Pennyworth. Alfred, I love him, and Michael Caine will always be my favorite Alfred, of course, because I love Michael Caine. But I'm very excited to see what this entire cast brings to this new movie. And so, yeah, I've heard that this trailer is amazing. It just premiered like a few minutes before I'm recording this, and I immediately got texts from Sri, uh, the channel's co-founder, telling me how amazing it was. He didn't give tell me anything though, so I'm excited. All right. Enough of me blabbering. Let's get onto this reaction. Okay. Hmm. I got it. No more lies. From your secret friend. Play a game, just me and you. Hmm. Any of this mean anything to you? Hmm. Ooh. Ah. You're becoming quite a celebrity. Oh my gosh. Why is he writing hmm. to you? There's Catwoman. If you are justice, please do not lie. <laughs> what is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, yes, I love that. Just the brutal beatdown. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Here I am cheering about a brutal beatdown. Um, I am vengeance. Oh, that was so cool. 
I'm so excited, guys. Wow. Oh, how they did the pull down. That was, okay, okay. Calm down, Alexa. Collect your thoughts. Okay. So, <laughs> that was so well done. That is exactly what I want from this Batman movie. I want something that's raw. I want something that's gritty. I want it to go deep in there. And it seems like Robert Pattinson did a phenomenal job. His performance there. I mean, you see a couple moments with his faces. I mean, he definitely, the second I heard it was him, I was like, he'd be a really good Bruce Wayne. But I was worried about how he'd be as a Batman. And I think... We have just proven that he's gonna be great in this. I mean, it was just a two and a half minute tease tra or trailer, or no, it's just a teaser. It's not even the trailer, and that was so good. I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm even more excited than I already was, and I, wow. Um, <laughs> see, now with these all coming out, I'm so happy that the Joker happened because now DC is more so embracing their darker side. And I, I'm really here for it. Because, I mean, Marvel does a great job. They're happy, fun superhero movies. I love those, too. And they're really great at it. And DC started to try and be like them, very obviously, with their Suicide Squad and, um, it's not, and the Justice League that came out. Um, thankfully, both the originals are going to be coming out. We're going to be reacting to some of the looks at that as well uh, over these next couple days. But, um... Yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> I keep thinking about this trailer and getting distracted. Um, but now with the Joker having such phenomenal success, they seem to just fully be just taking on this darker side to it. And I think that DC especially has these amazing characters that you can do so much with. And especially with their animated films already do such an amazing job of the darker side of it, like the Batman Returns as well as um, Justice League Apocalypse War and Dark. Those are very dark. Um, <laughs> but they're so um, intriguing to watch and I really love watching them because it's different. And I think that if DC can really embrace this darker side of it all, because there's so many, I mean, especially even just the Batman alone, look at his villains in the vast, um, just messed upness that each of them portray. Um, and even himself, like the Batman is not some perfect guy, you know, he makes a lot of mistakes and he does a lot of things that are in that gray area between right and wrong. And I'm loving that they're just embracing it fully. You know, we got a glimpse at kind of the Riddler. He's definitely starting to play with Batman here. And I think there will be a lot of mind games going on with us trying to guess what's happening alongside Batman and trying to figure out uh, what exactly is the plan and like who exactly is doing it or why they're doing it. Um, I mean, we'll kind of know it's like the Riddler and Penguin. <laughs> but, you know, we won't exactly know why. And I'm really excited to go along that journey of trying to figure it out with them. And I think this is going to be a really beautifully shot I mean, if the Planet of the Ape movies already <laughs> has been to that, or this teaser, I mean, it's gorgeous to look at. Every frame is amazing, and I think it's going to be a, the fun, a truly spectacular performance from the Swole Cats. I'm very excited to see Robert Pattinson's Batman, and this just got me even more excited for it, so all around. I love his suit in this as well. It's so um, just like it's different and I'm really happy that they're making it their own for this because it's of course outside uh, their kind of DCEU and this is its own standalone film and I think that it will be really spectacular and I cannot wait for this movie to come out. <laughs> I also love the sound design that they did for this trailer. I mean that starting with like the duct tape ripping because at first I wasn't sure what it was. I was like is that like velcro? Is this gonna be like him suiting up I thought maybe? Um, and then they get to it and it's the duct tape coming off and I like how they moved the like the DC logo like moved with the tape noises and I also really loved, I don't know if you noticed, but um, the Batman symbol at the end. As the logo is coming in, if you watch the second A, it kind of makes like the bat ears um, as it's coming down to its form. Um, and it's just, it's really cool. I think that there's so many little moments in this teaser. I'm definitely gonna be watching it many times before the movie comes out. A uh, link's in the description below so you guys can go and watch it many times as well if you want. Every single frame has perfect color grading. There's so many layers in each shot. It's so dynamic and everything's brought to focus. A lot of like close-ups and just, I'm really excited for this movie, guys. <laughs> the song for this too was just so powerful and I think it fit it all so well. And it's gonna be a really cool story and I'm really happy with the direction that they've chosen to go with this, so. Yeah, all right. So I could keep gushing on and on about this, but I'm gonna stop myself here. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, check out our Patreon, link in the description below. And yeah, hope you all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.